Hey, business building warrior, welcome to Silent Sales Machine Radio. I'm your host today, Jim Cockrum, and we've got another great episode where, as we've done so often in the past, hundreds of times actually at this point, we're interviewing one of the successful students of our flagship Amazon seller training course that's called Proven Amazon Course. It's found at provenamazoncourse.com. And that's right, this episode is another great interview with a great student from our community who happens to live fairly near me. One of our coaches who also lives in the area, which is kind of surprising because our pretty much we're a global community and we've got coaches all over the planet at this point. But this just happens to be a local connection story where one of the coaches on our team who coaches Amazon seller training had a friend who attends the same church that we all actually go to and was talking to him about e-commerce and Amazon and he jumped in and his business is exploding. He's doing really well. He just a couple of days ago had his first $3,000 sales day. And he's going to go into all the details of the journey. He's had a very rapid learning curve. He jumped into the proven Amazon course, like I said, uh, towards the beginning of the year. Here we are about halfway through the year, 2023. And he jumped in beginning of the year, ramped up fairly quickly. He jumped into our Kickstart boot camp, which is a one-time $40 expense that gets you four sessions with other new proven Amazon course students and a coach on our team walking you through those first initial setup stages. So you can get ramped up fast. That's what we call it, a kickstart boot camp, right? We're going to push you through. You get all the recordings. You can take your time if you want, but we'd like to see you go at a nice, fast pace that first month to get through all those one-time little challenges. Well, he did that. He's now jumped into our replens or sometimes called the replenishable business model, which is the base level Amazon seller training module in our seller training course. He's doing Fantastic. He just got back from our annual conference, The Proven Conference. The website is theprovenconference.com. We're already talking about our 2024 event at this point. It's going to be in May in Orlando. Hope you can join us. Get to that website for some more details. I'll stick a link to that in the show notes, of course, as well as a link to everything else you're going to hear us talking about today. So, our guest today, Abel Jimenez, is his name. He is working full time at a corporate job. And it's a pretty intense environment. He's doing very well with it. It's a good job, like I said, but he wants to build something else in his spare time, something that he can just pour some of this positive energy into, a nice break away from that full-time career. He's got a family. He's married, beautiful family. And this is kind of his dream for the future is to get this thing up and rocking. And he's doing a great job of doing that. So we're going to talk about several interesting topics today. He talks a little bit about how he sources online. So he goes to websites and sources products online and brings those to his house, has them shipped to himself, and then he sends those into Amazon where they're sold. He's talking about maybe starting to use a prep center to do some of that for him. So instead of the products coming to his house, it goes to one of our prep partners, which I don't think we mentioned this on the episode today. So Prep Center Network is the website. It's a free website where we have a list of all the prep centers. If you want to go check it out, these are the people who would receive your inventory on your behalf, get it prepared to send into Amazon and then send it in on your behalf with all of your stickers on it. So that when it sells, Amazon knows who to pay, right? That's how the process works. Well, I think that's a pretty good list of announcements for now. There's only one other thing I want to let you know before we jump into this episode, get over to proven Amazon course.com slash 100, three digits, one, zero, zero, provenamazoncourse.com slash 100 to find out about our September 15th and 16th, 2023 event in Utah, where we're just a handful of people. We're capping it off at around 25 or 30 people. I think it's not going to be much more than that. If it is a little more than that, um, that'll be the cap. But we're going to have a couple of intensive days all designed around getting you your first 100 profitable replan products. So it's like a fast ramp into this business. Two intensive days with Brian and Robin Joy Olson. You've heard them on the Coach's Corner episodes of our podcast once a week or so, typically on Wednesdays. They jump in there and teach. They've created all of our advanced KIPA strategy training. They're coaching leaders on our team, just two incredible leaders. I'm hoping to be there, planning to be there, but most importantly, your trainers, Brian and Robin Joy, will be there. 
You can contact our coaching office for details. There's a link at silentgym.com or you can go fill out the form at provenamazoncourse.com slash 100. Go check it out. If there's still time to get there, we'd love to see you there in September. It's something we plan to do several more times in the future based on how this first one goes, but we've seen a lot of demand for that sort of thing, like the two-day intensive small group experience. Come hang out with us. We'd love to do that with you. All right, let's jump in to this conversation interview with Abel. You're going to love his story, man. He jumps right into how he found this community, how his business is doing. And I think you're going to be inspired by the progress he's made in just about you know six, seven months. He's doing really, really well. So enjoy. Lots of good information coming your way, starting right now. So Abel, welcome to Silent Sales Machine Radio. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm looking forward to spending some time together with you, man. So let's get into your story. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The way that I came to this community was via a uh, friend of church. You know, it just word of mouth is so powerful. And we were a part of a small group and we were introducing each other. And I loved the way he introduced himself and what he did for work. He mentioned that uh, he was doing business in the internet to have enough time to volunteer. And I said, I want to do that. I want to yep. have the ability to spend some of my time to volunteer and give back. And that's when I asked him, well, tell me more. I mean, how are you able to, you know, earn enough income to support, you know, your, your life that allows you to volunteer? And he goes, not a problem. Why don't you, we go out for um, a lunch and I'll talk to you more about it. And that's when he introduced me to the Proven Amazon course. And, and, I was, and you're talking about, that's Travis, right? That is Travis, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I remember that from your bio. And yes, yeah, Travis is one of the great coaches on our team who it, it, we, we all three attend a fairly large church on the south side of Indianapolis. And that's, that's how Travis discovered me initially a few years back. I spoke at a men's conference there um, and he heard me for the first time describe what I did for a living and came up to me afterwards in a very similar way to what you came up to him. There's, a, there's very much a viral impact to this. There's a good number of people now in the area who just kind of through word of mouth encounters and, you know, that's how it spreads. But I love it. I love that that's how that uh, you got introduced to the community. Yeah. It's just uh, I've seen a lot of ads, a lot of uh, announcements in Facebook and Internet about making six-figure incomes. And mm -hmm. you just can't trust anybody uh, nowadays because, you know, you you don't know what's their what are they looking at to get out of you uh but yeah. when you know the person you know you know that they're close by and you know that they are good people it changes the whole thing it allows you to be more uh more willing to listen and try things because uh, you know that that individual has integrity and uh, they have a, a great background and, and uh, you're able to give that a chance uh, a lot easier because you know the individual so yeah we, uh, we call it a transfer of trust in the industry yes, you, know? You, you know the yes. person and you know and i'm very proud of the fact that we're 100 percent word of mouth marketing here it's all been organic people sharing their story getting on the podcast telling them what they know we're not one of those ads that you see when you're scrolling around on facebook or youtube because we don't have any paid ads <laughs> we rely on what you just described abel so uh, i'm thrilled that you you came into the community the same way that everyone else has over the years. It's just someone talking to you about it and, and um, sharing the content and seeing where it goes from there. Yeah. Um, after that lunch, uh, he said, you know, this is a training course. I was expecting something like, yeah, you're going to have to you know, pay like $4,000 and, you know, you get this course and, you know, cause that's really what I've seen has been my experience when I look for mm -hmm. you know, courses in the internet. When he told me that I could become a, a subscriber of a, a training program that only costs, I think it's $40. I was, I was like, how is that possible? You know, I'm like, that's just not, it's no, it's not possible. He goes, give it a try. So I did. And uh, once I started looking at the content, I was astonished 
of the amount of information, the level of detail that people go through, uh, the examples. It's just incredible. I That, that first uh, uh, training actually uh, made me go back and started listening to more of the podcasts. Mm. So the fact that I, I went to the training and started seeing the content in there said, wow, this is amazing. I need to go back and start to look at more podcasts to see you know, what other recommendations they have because I wanted to learn more and more and more. But the, the trainings are so good. They do take a little bit of uh, time because they're, they're very detailed and they, they teach you step-by-step step on how to do things. But I wanted tips. I wanted you know, quick tips that I could you know, go for. And when I look at the podcast list, I could scroll down and you have very easily on some of those uh, titles, specific topics that you talk about. So uh, I started going through those podcasts and every morning, you know, uh, I would put in my earbuds and uh, work out and, you know, podcast, you know, Every, every morning, just catching up to him. When I'm driving, podcast. When I'm <laughs> running, amazing. podcast. How, when, how many of them have you listened to, would you say, at this point? And how, long, and how long ago was this? I don't think we put a timeline to things yet. Yeah, so I met uh, Travis. Uh, it was around October. And it was September, October, yeah. At first, uh, September. Then we, we met for lunch in October, in November. About eight months or so ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, November, I... Purchased the, uh, I became a subscriber of the uh, Proven Amazon course. It was like November 28, something like that, because it was uh, right after uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, so I started learning in Jan. I'm sorry, in December. Uh, and then uh, Travis sent me an email saying, "There is a new course that uh, is just came out, and you may want to try it out." And that's the Kickstart, the Kickstart Bootcamp. Yes. And they're going to have a new session in January. And I was like, count me in. <laughs> right? I, I'm all in. Yeah. And it, just uh, for, so folks know, that's a one-time payment of $40. And it's a group of new proven Amazon course students. We've done about 25 of those now at this point, I think. Every, every week or so, we launch a new one. And it's any new proven Amazon course students who want to hang out with a coach on our team for a handful of sessions. And just get you through, like it says, a kickstart to get you through those first few steps of getting set up and hopefully getting to the point where you've got, found your first item and you sell it. That's the goal of kickstart. And it's gone beautifully. Yeah. So Travis recommended you to jump into one of there, one of those. And, and how'd that go for you? Well, uh, I have to say I, was, I wasn't I uh, was as proactive as I could have when it first started. There is a lot of homework that you need to do and, and there is a lot of uh, information packed in there and you do have to keep up with the sessions, which is a great, great uh, process for you to get started because there is a lot of admin work that needs to be done, setting up your account and all the paperwork and there's a lot of things. So um, I was I was trying to keep up and it just, it just so happens that it was during the month that my church decided to do the... Um, 21 days of fasting and prayer. Yes. Did you participate in that? I did as well. I, I did participate in that. And yeah. our our newborn, around nine months old, uh, plus, you know, the the extra effort to to connect with God and and you know give up, you know, those uh those very important nourishments, it made it really hard for me to stay after work and continue on the on the program. But I was determined. I said, God, if this is what you want me to do, you're going to give me the strength. And he sure did. Wow. You know, I was able to recover and come up with a routine for myself. And by the end of January, which is uh, one of the things that they want you to do, sell at least one product. Mm -hmm. By the end of that one month period, I sold my first product. Nice. And do you remember what it was? Yes. Yes. It was a... 25 pack of band-aids nice yeah and a, a funny story uh, i was telling somebody about that uh, and i had told them about a great month that i had i didn't tell them that i didn't just sell band-aids and this lady who goes to me the answer has been in front of me all of this all this time all i have to do is sell band-aids <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm like, no, 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 no. That was my first product. Yeah, um, that's not the only thing I've sold for eight months. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So that was uh, that was a very, very uh, focused time. And if anyone is is starting off, I highly recommend the Kickstart uh, Bootcamp program because it does it coaches you. This is what you need to do first, second, third, fourth, and it allows you to move forward in a very, very quick manner. Um, but it, it does require you know time and effort from you, which mm-hmm. is excellent, right? I mean, it is a, a, a partnership. You have to put in the, the amount of work. So that was successful. I did purchase my, uh, I did have my first sale uh, by the end of January. January 30th, I think, was uh, the, the sale. The most exciting thing that I I done is my first shipment to Amazon. I did the worst possible product that I could possibly send to Amazon, but I was the happiest person alive. I didn't know it was that bad at the moment. January is after December, right? Holiday season. There's a lot of sales because Christmas has just passed, right? So I thought I was getting a huge deal on on this product uh, at Target. And I bought um, 10 of them. It was the worst possible product that I could have purchased. Uh, uh, It weighed a ton. Um, The expiration date was very short. Uh, You know, the it, it was just the worst product ever, but it was my first product and I packaged it. I, I treated like it was my, my third baby and sent it in and I was excited. Uh, so I did not make any money on that, but it learned, I learned so much uh, right. during that process. Yeah. yeah. And that, those are valuable lessons. We, we like to see people do it the way you did it. Abel, rather than wait six months and feel like they've perfected the process. I talked to someone at our event here just a few days ago. He said it took them five years to send in their first shipment. From the time they started listening to our podcast to the time they've sent in their first shipment was five years. (laughs) Like, Well, you know, we'd say take your time, but yeah, send in something, learn some of those lessons, uh, get that momentum rolling. And I I love that you were excited to send in that first product uh, because you should be. You've, you've got a new skill set now that will serve you well. Uh, you, you're a val- valuable asset in any number of businesses now. You could become a consultant. I mean, you've made a successful sale on Amazon. That's something most people will never be able to say. And they're confused by the process. You're in, man. You did it. So, yeah, this is back in January uh, yep. this year. Here we are, you know, middle of July, plowing through July right now. Uh, so to give people a timeline. But, yeah, keep us going, man. I'm loving your story. Yeah. Um, February. So I. I sold the the pack of band-aids, I think it was uh eleven twenty-five, something like that. I made a profit of like a dollar twenty on it. And I haven't sold another one since then. <laughs> yeah, just a one time thing. Wasn't it wasn't one time thing. too excited yeah. about, but you're learning the process. Oh, absolutely. Uh, um after that I continued with what the uh what Robin uh, taught us during the month, right? In respects to how to go and how to source products, manual process of going in and and getting those uh, products and listing them. And that's all I focused on, just listing on products. I wasn't really looking for replants at that moment because all I wanted to do was learn. I wanted to learn sourcing. I wanted to learn how to list them. I wanted to learn how to price them, uh, deal with the shipping, and and the um, Amazon fees, all of those things, you know, are variables that uh, have to be learned. So my first, uh, I'm sorry, my second month in February, I uh, was able to grow my business from eleven dollars to a little over two thousand. So that was um, that was actually a, a very big surprise to me that I had been able to sell uh, two thousand dollars in. Uh, inventory in just 30 days. Uh, I was, yeah, that really got to me. I was yeah, like, wow, it, this it's actually pretty works. exciting. Ha- have you ever run a business before or been an entrepreneur in any well, other endeavor? I've been part of startups in the past, sure. but they haven't been my startups. And so right. there's a lot of work regardless. Yeah. <laughs> but never, never me, you know, leading 
uh, a business. So this was my first time. Yeah. And just to see those numbers coming in and like, hey, those are my numbers. I did that. <laughs> I did the work with God's help, of course. You're like, look yes. what we're building here. And uh, so so do you happen to remember what your net margins were that first really full month, those $2,000? What'd you take home? Yeah, I believe I saw that earlier today. It was, um, oh, okay. Uh, I sent, I know because I've been writing the checks to to church for, for the tithe. And that was the first check that I, I sent in. And it was a $24 uh, uh, check, which means I made $240 of uh, profit uh, out of $2,000 in sales, which is right. a little over 10%. Yeah, a little over 10% ROI. Yeah. Wow, that's tremendous, man. That's tremendous. I, yeah, I love these early, you know, the, the thing I love about these numbers, these aren't huge numbers. This isn't blowing anyone away with these amazing results, but we're showing a trajectory of slow and steady start, getting some results fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. um, the boot camp experience, which by the way, you said you didn't take advantage of it at the pace that it was presented to you. I just want to point out that you got all the recordings. Yes. You know, you can go back through that at your own pace. And there's still, a, is there still a Facebook group associated with that boot camp? Do you, have you used that at all? And kind of, I have used it. Yep. Yeah. Cool. I, I've gone back and uh, I've asked many questions and, uh, you know, I use that one and I use the, um, the, the larger, the main the one, my, yeah. yeah, that one is an incredible resource. Uh, anyone looking to start out or has questions and is a little bit shy like myself, that's just a wealth of knowledge. It's a knowledge database that you can tap into. Yeah. Yeah. We just passed 73,000 members not too long ago. It's free. There's a link at silentgym.com to that Facebook group that Abel's talking about. And yeah, I use it all the time myself as well. <laughs> you can go in and do a keyword research on just about any topic and find great supportive content and conversations about just about anything you encounter with this business. So, yeah. Tremendous resource. Well, so, so you're into uh, your first full month, we'll call it month two, February. You've got uh, $2,000 yep. in sales, making some profit, which is beautiful to have a business where you haven't really had to take any significant risks yet. And you're starting to make a nice profit, starting to get That's some correct. momentum. Well done, man. But, you know, and keep us going. And you can follow the timeline of your story with uh, your sales, or, or if there's some lessons you want to toss in here as we go, man. It's the ball's in your court. Go how yeah. you go, Abel. In February, and you know, just following the uh, Kickstart uh, program, I, I did went back and started to revisit those recordings and and the materials. I actually went away from the template that, that was given and uh, it was not good. And I, I needed to come back and I started adding a couple of columns to that uh, worksheet myself. Mm -hmm. I started figuring out that, I, you know, it's at thirds, you know, if you want, if you want to buy something and make uh, uh, money on it, you want to kind of buy it at three times as much uh, uh, profit, right? So if you buy something for $10, you want to sell it for 30. So I kind of made my own calculations of when I put in the, the cost, it would automatically give me, you know, a um, uh, dollar amount of what I, I should expect. Uh, I just did that on my own. I didn't know of all the tools that <laughs> were out there right. just yet. So I kind of did that myself. And then also uh, I was gated for a lot of things, yeah. right? Uh, and that was a little bit frustrating going sure. through the process of, uh, you know, finding a great product. Uh, look at the Keepa chart and everything's great. And then you go and you you uh, submit for, you know, request for, for the uh, application to sell and it says, you know, you're not allowed to sell it. Uh, or yet. And not allowed to sell it yet. yet. Right. Yeah. Keep that ASIN. Yep. Uh, so that's one of the big lessons that I, I learned and I'm actually leveraging that now because I've been selling for a few months and I've been able to get ungated on some of the early um, mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. What I did is I kept it there. And on another column, I put, uh, for example, a lot of them require you to buy 10 or more products and show an invoice. So I just wrote on my notes, 10 or more. That would allow me to go back and see if uh, later on, I didn't need to buy 10 or more. And for sure, Many, many of them don't require me to buy 10 or more anymore. Yes. Automatic uh, ungating. After 30 or yep. 40 items have been sold, the automatic ungating tends to kick in. And we tell new sellers all the time, don't get stressed out over this. Just sell 30 or 40 of anything. 
And you'll see that automatic ungating start to kick in. Amazon knows that they can trust you and they start flipping those doors open for you without you having to do anything. Yeah. Um, so I, I did that. There was a lot of hard work to get to those 2000, but it uh, was a great milestone for me. On March, I started to go back to the trainings and I started to look at the other modules that are available in the uh, Proven Amazon course. And I discovered the online arbitrage uh, simplified, OA simplified course. Right. And um, I had no idea what any of this was or what it meant. Uh, I just started looking at it and I was like, wow, there is a, a way to source these products uh, through the internet and, and some using some tools. Um, and many of them have free trials. I'm like, I have nothing to lose. I can just try it out. Why not? And so I started trying out the process and I was a, I was finding all kinds of products. Now I'm still gated for a lot of them, but for a majority of them, I was not. Mm -hmm. And I was amazed of all the products that were out there. And then a lot of things started coming to my mind. I'm like, I wonder if I can source on this company that I, this vendor that I used to work with or this other vendor, right? And sure enough, uh, all of these different uh, stores uh, were available for you know, online arbitrage. And it, it was just phenomenal. My only issue was uh, funding because I'm like, I was afraid of pulling the trigger on buying the, that inventory because I'm still very new, right? Uh, I made purchases of, you know, three products or four products. My, my normal spend was 40 to $50, right? Those are comfortable purchases. Um, but once you start to look at all these different places and following uh, your number one advice, you know, you want to go uh, an inch deep and a mile wide. Exactly. Right? So um, I, I was not purchasing more than like three or four products. Sometimes five was the max. But I was looking at, wow, this is it's starting to add up. All these 50, 60, you know, mm -hmm. dollar charges are, are starting to add up. But I trusted. I trusted uh, the podcasts, you know, that where people talk about what they're going through. I trusted the individuals that are around me. Uh, that's where that connection to the individuals that are in this community really came in handy and said, okay, I'm going to click on it. And I started, I started buying. And that month, the third month on, in March, I uh, finished the month at $9,000 in sales. That's a great third month, man. And I would call it actually your second month as far as fully engaged going for it. But yeah, that's beautiful. How did your margins do that month? The margins uh, were a little better, actually. They, they went up to like 15%. Nice. Um, yeah. And... Um, I was very focused on margins, but everything that I was looking for really didn't go above that 15%. One of the things that I did do, and this is a um, lesson learned, because uh, uh, you do say this on your podcast, is uh, going to buying products in used stores. It's a good thing to start out for you know, eBay or, or other, other marketplaces. I went out and bought some things that uh, looked like they were in new condition, and they did give me uh, quite a bit of margin on, on those products. But come April and May, uh, those uh, products were starting to get returned because they weren't the quality that uh, you know, I, I had expected. So on March, I started to do mistakes uh, that... Uh, you know, your community have told us not to do. And, um, but I didn't know it yet. Uh, right. I mean, everything's great. Uh, March has only been, yeah, like the, the second, second month really with inventory at this point, I hadn't even had a return yet. Right. Because it's only been a month, month and a half for the inventory right. to really get there or people to receive it. So, um, I was in cloud nine because, uh, it, everything was up, 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 up. But, OA simplified really, really changed the way I look at sourcing. It really automated a lot of the processes. 
I highly encourage people to go to the uh, uh, subscribe and be a, a customer of uh, the uh, uh, proven Amazon course because it's not just a course, it's a bunch of courses and you can work on one of them individually, but the power really comes when it, when you start to master one and you start to utilize other ones and you start to combine in things between mm -hmm. them, that's really when things are, are, are just phenomenal. And uh, we'll, we'll get to last month, uh, you know, in, in July, that's, that's when I started doing that. Gotcha. Yeah. So the, just a little more on that OA simplified, it is a standalone course as well that people can go buy, but although it's, priced such that it, you have a huge incentive just to go ahead and get the proven Amazon course, like you said, Abel, but OA stands for online arbitrage. We're teaching you how to shop online, like, like Abel just said, and you can read up and there's actually a couple of really good podcast episodes on that website, oasimplified.com as in online arbitrage, oasimplified.com. Just go watch the videos there to get a feel for what it's all about. Uh, it's a, a couple of moms in our community who are great coaches and coaching leaders on our team around here. Leah and Jessica put that together and they've got six figure a month businesses without any inventory coming to their house. They both do just using prep centers and online arbitrage. And, and that's the training in there because uh, you can source products from physical stores or from wholesalers or online. There's all different ways to do it. But yeah, Abel's talking about the online arbitrage strategies that have become very popular lately. And yeah, there's more inventory out there. You will run out of money before you run out of great inventory to buy. It happens to everybody once yeah. the light bulb comes on and you're able to find that great inventory. You know, you got a few hours, you can sit down and find some great replants, some great ASINs. They're everywhere. And uh, OA seemed to work well for me because I work a nine to five. Right. And uh, after that, you know, when I spend time with the family, you know, play with the with the kid and do the dinner, you know, all that stuff. And then after things are settled down, you know, I can spend an hour or two or three or however, you know, much I need to uh, source in a night. And uh, that works really well for me. And it's, it's been able to uh, grow my business that, that, uh, that schedule. So it's just you, you're doing all the shopping, all the prepping, you're doing all the work. Yes. Um, I eventually do want to outsource it, but, uh, I'd like smart. to, yeah, I'd like to do everything myself yeah. right now because I'm still learning. Yeah, absolutely. Um, That's the way we recommend. You want to know all the moving parts. Yeah. And for the for the folks that are in my position or maybe a little earlier than me, there are a lot of lessons that you learn by uh, packing, uh, mm -hmm. like, you know, the the way that you pack something. Uh, my mother was helping me and she would throw things in there as a mom. Would you like to receive this when you when you receive this product? Would you like to receive it with those folds or would you like to receive it? nice and smooth like, well, I like to receive it nice and smooth okay so let's let's put it in the way that you would like to receive it uh where you put the the labels right so they don't scratch uh how how you pack things is, is very important because it's your reputation now you're putting your name on the line to the entire world and they can reply to you which uh they have and and they can um uh those voices uh, really do have an impact impact in in your account, especially when you're new. Um, yeah, yeah. I uh, I have a little bit of a, a story which uh, happened on the next month on April. Um, I made uh, I was sourcing online and I found uh, some products that seemed like there was a great deal, and I wasn't uh, I wasn't mature in the process enough to really look at the variations. Variations got me. Um, there was a coffee maker that was uh, in, the, in the online arbitrage uh, tool and showed that it was at $90 uh, selling in Amazon. And the source was for like uh, $50. Said so that that's great. I can make some money in there. And I purchased um, a bunch of them. And I send them in, and lo and behold, the next month in April, 
things started, I started to get returns and I was devastated. I was like, that's, this is awful. How can people return this? This is, and then I, um, I didn't know why they were returning them. And then one of the comments, it was a very negative comment said, I ordered the traditional spout of this coffee maker and you gave me a modern spout. And I'm mm. like, oh, thank you. Uh, you know, I, I was devastated because this was a bad, bad thing. But that comment actually allowed me to say, oh, she's right. Yeah, yeah it was I, a mistake. It yeah. was a mistake. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that was a, a big learning, uh, big learning uh, lesson for me, right? I was like, got to pay attention to those variations. And of course, the, the variation that um, had the, um, the original spout was uh, $90 and it cost $90 to, so to source, right? So I was, uh, I was like, oh, uh, really, really bad situation because I, want, I needed to take all that back. Mm -hmm. And in that time, those, that product has already been sold. I'm like, oh no, I've sold six of them. I gotten two returns and one bad review, which by the way, when you have zero reviews and when you get one bad review, that's 100% negative. Negative. That's ugly. Yeah. Yes. You do not want to be in that situation. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, um, when I uh, got that negative review and that comment, I understood. I didn't like it, but I understood. Okay, I, I made a mistake. That's mm -hmm. okay. How can I fix this? So the products have already been bought. So I'm going to be waiting for a lot of returns coming back to me. Um, there, I, I have, I think, um, three left in, in stock. So what I did is I changed the price way, 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 way high. I put it like, you know, to two, $200. So I knew that it w they weren't going to sell. And I was waiting for the other ones to come back to um, Amazon. And once everything was back, uh, you know, I, I asked for them to be returned and, and I deleted the, um, uh, the ASIN. But that small mistake, a uh, careless mistake, uh, you know, uh, cost me some money. It cost me, you know, some time because it, it probably took about a month and a half for everything to get back to me. Yeah. Um, a valuable lesson. And that's one of the reasons why we say inch deep, mile wide, meaning only by a few units of anything as you're testing it, no matter how excited you are, even if there's a discount for buying 30 units, no, we're not going to buy 30. We're going to buy a tiny handful and test it. And yeah, just learning to be very methodical, making sure that the product matches exactly. Uh, sometimes it was like, oh, wow, what a great deal. You're like, am I missing something here? Yep. Is, do I have the wrong color? Do I have the wrong number of ounces? You know, I'm looking at the 18 ounce version instead of the 28 ounce version. That's why there's a price difference. Okay. Uh, you just have to be meticulous on that. Yep. On that. And you learn to be meticulous with your inventory selection and matching it against the proper ace. And that's one of the skills you pick up. But again, th thankfully you didn't go out and buy a hundred units of this, you know, it no. was a handful, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you could absorb that blow, learn that lesson and move on. But yeah, that's a valuable example of, you know, just making sure you are selling what the customer is expecting for sure. Yep. Um, and I mean, I had to recognize, right. It was definitely my era. So, um, yeah, there's an, over, an oversight and that happens. Mm -hmm. Um, so moving into April, I started to get more returns. Uh, April, uh, the highest returns I've ever experienced, 20 returns. I'm sure this number doesn't bother a lot of people, but to go from like two returns in, in March all the way to 20 in April was a big hit on my ego. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, I started looking at those returns and... I discovered that many of them, you know, people just return things. Uh, it's not really, a lot of them are not my fault. People, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. so um, some of them were, you know, I, I made mistakes and that's okay. But some of them were not. And I started seeing that many of them were going back into the uh, inventory. And I'm like, oh, okay. So this is a normal process. It's it's not mm -hmm. that bad. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, you get the inventory back as the worst case, and then you sell it on eBay, Facebook Marketplace. As that pile starts to accumulate, sometimes it is a, it's an inconvenience, you know, so you, have, you have to do something with it. We've got, a, I'll stick a link in the show notes today to a prep center, actually, that will receive your returns on your behalf. 
and sell them on eBay for you and then send you half the money. Just a convenience thing. If if that's uh, something that's useful to somebody or maybe you at some point, Abel, um, they'll receive all of it listed, take pictures of it, and you don't have to ever think about it. You never even see it. So, I, I may what? I may have to go to them, uh, you know, because I, I'm not getting as many returns uh, because I'm being more careful. Sure. But they do take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do. Yeah. You have to watch that. You want to build systems that don't require your time, attention, and effort, ideally, That's as right. you start to scale. Yeah. Well, excellent. So here we are just a few months ago with an update. Business is continuing to grow. You're learning some great lessons. You're still excited about it. Having fun, it sounds like. Well, it, you know, um, I forgot who it was at the conference and uh, they were they were telling me, you know, do you, how do you feel about the business? And I said, to be honest, is a stress reliever. Um, hmm. uh, behind me is my my desk with, you know, I have three different computers and one huge monitor. And um, I talk with a lot of people and sometimes, you know, it just it gets to you. And uh, I heard uh, Brian Olson said this as well. And, and, and Robin is this, go sourcing. <laughs> Go sourcing, it it does help. So whenever I'm, you know, in that place where I just uh, have a lot of things going on, and you know, the corporate world, uh, it's not very fair. And so I just come back, you know, roll that chair over to here, and start sourcing. And it just relaxes me because uh, yeah. when when I source, I see uh, a way out. I see mm. things that I'm like, oh yeah, I can. I can make a profit in this particular uh, product. And those small uh, wins that you know you're going to get really help you uh, get out of you know, the, the mindset that uh, you were just in. Yeah, it's a, it's a psychological boost. You know, just yeah. finally finding a way for me, I always think of it as income streams, right? I love that analogy and that imagery of streams of income. I don't know how long this stream will last, it could be just a few weeks. It could be months or longer, or it could lead to other great streams. But that that activity of looking for streams of income, which is really what the replens business model is, you're looking yeah. for stuff that I can sell over and over again profitably. And as you find them, like, okay, this is at least a couple hundred dollars for my family right. in the next 30 to 60 days. Could be thousands, could be tens of thousands. It could open up a whole new channel. But it's at least that. And for the time spent, I've been rewarded. And it, yeah, it's uh, it's very validating and encouraging. And just kind of, uh, I, I know exactly what you're saying. I find it relaxing as well. Just kind of yes. doing the research. And some people can't stay in that part of the business. Well, we encourage you, you need to learn it anyway. So you can train and oversee the people who end up doing it for you That's on right. your behalf. Uh, That's right. Which eventually using a virtual assistant in the Philippines and that kind of thing. That'll be in your future. But for now... Yeah, enjoy the journey, get good at it. You're going to learn things that those of us who've been doing it a very long time still don't know because you're new. You you don't know what you should and shouldn't be doing. You're going to try new tools. You're going to click where maybe no one's clicked before and find websites no one's found before. And uh, it's a unique adventure for everyone doing this business. Uh, so I, I loved hearing new sellers say they enjoy sourcing because that's the part of it where it doesn't matter if you like it or not, it's got to be done. And that is the fuel for the whole thing is finding those great ASINs, finding those replens. That's been my focus, right? Just keep sourcing, keep sourcing, keep sourcing. Mm -hmm. I haven't been specifically looking for replens. I've been looking for products that I can make profit on. Mm -hmm. And many of them have turned into replens. Yes. Uh -huh. that so that's, sense. yeah. Um, I because in the beginning I was very focused on the margin and the ROI, mm -hmm. but then I started uh, looking at um, when I went to those uh, secondhand stores or stuff. I I saw things that were really really cheap and that could be sold uh, for a lot of profit, and I sold many of them. And I said, well, that that uh, ROI uh, for that was great, but then I started sourcing with OA. And I realized that uh, if I go up on a uh, cost, instead of going 
and buying things that are five and seven dollars. If I move up a little bit more to the twenty twenty five dollar, the uh, I'm more interested in the amount of profit than the return on investment. Yes. Uh, right. Yeah. I I totally follow you. I'd rather be I'd rather be turning. $30 investments into a 40, you know, a nice $10 return than, you know, playing around with one, two, three, four dollars at a time. And, uh, you know, at, at a higher velocity, you know, I, I tend to drift in that direction as well, but really it's all about if you're turning your money over fast, it doesn't matter where you are on that scale. You've yeah. got a beautiful business model. If your money's turning over quickly, if it's, if it takes three months to get your money back, you know, it doesn't matter what the product is. On the other hand, if if it's flipping fast and things are moving and you're finding stuff that it, when it lands, it sells, it doesn't matter really what the price point is because you're going to expand your pool of capital very quickly if you're turning your inventory fast. So I do like speed. I like to sell fast movers. I like to price them above the buy box. And if they don't sell fast, I drop the price down and get them out, get my money yep. back, put it to work somewhere else. Uh, but it is a it is a fun model that can be done so many different creative ways, and it sounds like you're really catching on to it, man. It, it's been fantastic. You know, there are many streams of income, like you mentioned, and I'm okay sometimes if I buy a, a more expensive product and it may take a whole month to sell because I'm um, that product, uh, you know, may return forty dollars. Uh, you know, and I'm only testing it, right? I mean, I'm still. I'm still a newbie, so I'm testing everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm starting to realize that I go back and I'm running out of things. And I'm like, oh, if I'm running out of things, and Amazon lets you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they're like, you're low on this. Um, I'm like, huh, that's how uh, it turns into a replant because you're like, I sold out of these. Let me go buy some more following your, your advice. You buy two, then you buy four, then you buy eight. You know, And, and if it, they keep selling, you just found yourself a replan. Yeah, keep um, buying a month's worth. Basically, you yeah. want to keep a month's worth in stock a, a, as you find these that sell on a repeat basis. Uh, that's fantastic. Hey, sorry for the short interruption, but you're going to love what I have to share with you. Let's talk about seller board. As an Amazon seller, do you know your numbers? Are you tracking your profit and loss by ASIN, cost of goods sold, how accurate? are your numbers. Sellerboard helps you get extremely accurate. Starting at just $15 per month, you can know when to buy products, when not to buy products, which ones are profitable, which ones aren't. You can really start to dial in your Amazon business. Get over to silentgym.com slash numbers and check out the latest fantastic sponsor to this program. So many Amazon sellers in our community are using it. I'm thrilled that they've become a sponsor of this program. Thanks, Seller Board. Go check out their offer, silentgym.com slash numbers. I sold out of these. Let me go buy some more following your, your advice. You buy two, then you buy four, then you buy eight. You know, And if it, they keep selling, you just found yourself a replant. Yeah. Keep um, buying a month's worth. Basically you yeah. want to keep a month's worth in stock a, a, as you find these that sell on a repeat basis. Uh, that's fantastic. Well, how many stores would you say your, how many websites and stores would you say are in your arsenal of, uh, shopping? That's a good question. Uh, it's, uh, I can do a quick count. Um, it's probably about approximately 12. Yeah. Very good. About yeah. 12. Yeah. You're doing some good work, man. You're spreading out, spreading out the opportunity a little bit and your research pools, you know, looking around how much of that's online and how much of that's uh, uh, retail arbitrage going to stores at this point. Yeah. So I started to, um, I started in online arbitrage, but uh, I go to a lot of these stores. So it doesn't take any more effort for me to, when I go to those stores to you know, source. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, I find it, uh, that it's simpler. You know, it's on the shelf, uh, same price as is online. And I just grab it, put mm -hmm. it into the cart, you know, and uh, I buy my personal things with one card and I buy the, yep. the products in the business with the other card. Well, that's one thing I did wanted to bring up as a newbie because I did establish um, 
my company last year because I wanted to do this, but I didn't have any history. The bank, you know, just barely opened up my uh, bank account. Mm -hmm. And it takes a few months for your uh, business to get, start to get offers to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, use financing, for example. Sure, of course. Um, so if for those uh, of us that are starting out, I started out with my own, um, you know, uh, credit cards and, and, you know, replenishing that mm -hmm. with the uh, proceeds. But as I started to get business cards, I started to kind of transition that from my personal cards to my business cards. And I'm almost there. So it's it's really cool, really nice to see, right, the, the amounts kind of uh, windling down on my personal accounts. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to see the rotation happen on my business. Right. Uh, so it's it's really cool to see that uh, that that transfer because um, you want to, yeah, yeah. And well, one uh, thing I would suggest risks. is you know if you've got a credit card, personal credit card, and you don't quite have business credit yet, where they'll give you a business card, just get another personal card on the same account, different number, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they'll give you a second account. That way you're getting it's separated up to you know separated on your statement, and and you can keep the two keep track of the two. Because you know, no one's going to care what kind of credit card you used to buy your inventory. Like if you are, you know, ever audited, for example, like you no, know, all they care about is are the transactions separate. You haven't commingled the funds. Right? You kept right. everything separate. So my business transactions are on these statements. My personal on those statements, uh, and you can easily then you know turn that over to your record keeper and a bookkeeper, and then your accountant's going to like you a lot more <laughs> that way as well as your business grows. When you're small. You're dealing with a few hundred dollars here and there. Don't sweat those kind of details, but do know that you want to start to establish fairly quickly as you've done, Abel, and keep those separate and, and be able to uh, easily know every line item on your credit card statement, on your bank statement, is this personal or business? And, it, and it's easily done if you keep it all separate. Uh, but yeah, just grabbing another personal card. A lot of people do that. Most credit cards, you say, hey, I, need, I just need a, a, I want to keep the same card I have open. I just need another card as well. I want to keep track of some things separately. Yeah. And uh, they'll do that for you, no problem. Another thing that I've learned as a, as a newbie is uh, some uh, websites, some uh, stores give you uh, discounts if you do auto replenish. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a great. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. You know, I get a 5% if I do an auto replenish. Uh, but I stopped doing that. Uh, I stopped the auto replenish. I kind of do that manually on my own, on, on my on my sheets or on future tools that I'm going to get, have those uh, reminders. Because um, one, the price may change and it usually goes up on those auto replenish. And I immediately know because it hits my account and I know exactly what that was supposed to cost. And now it's, you know, about 10% or 15% more. And I'm like, oh, oh, that's, that's not good. And it happened automatically. So um, that was one of the uh, lessons learned that I, I had because some of the products are on sale. And when you, when you see the price, they're on sale and then they're not on sale anymore. And, and then you keep replenishing those. So be careful with that. Yeah. You're talking about like signing up for auto ships like every month. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You want to stay, you, you don't want to assume the future of any ASIN. You want to, you know, keep an eye on it from this vantage point of, you know, what we typically do is if it hasn't sold in 30 days, that's our alarm bell. What's going on? We haven't sold a single unit of this in 30 days. Do we need to drop the price? Um, or if it's selling, okay, well, we sold three last week. Time to place another order for three units, right? We sold 10 last yep. week. Place another order. Next, and so we always have a month's worth on hand. But if you've got anything that's like auto shipping into you, yeah, you can very easily throw your system off, even if there's a discount there. Winning with replans isn't necessarily about chasing discounts and inexpensive and good deals and sales and all that. Although some people do very well with that model. There's a lot more moving parts there. I would argue I'd rather see you just paying full price, boring, yeah. you know, yep. nothing exciting about it. Use, you know, sure, use a we use a credit card with points on it. We're taking our whole family here before long to Mexico. And for everyone, we know there's 10 of us now. <laughs> and for everybody to fly, it's cost me about $600 because we're just using a whole bunch of airline points because we pull, push all of our inventory through points cards. And we're yep. buying a lot of inventory. So we, we, you know, 
we get a lot of points accumulating quickly. So we do that kind of thing, but I'm certainly not spending our time looking for sales and discounts, not with our model. I've met people who do really well with that model though. You know, this they but that's more of a churn. It's there's a like I said, a lot more moving parts. You're constantly looking for new inventory versus getting into that just selling the same boring stuff over and over again, which is a far easier model to to maintain from my vantage point. But no reason not to do both, man. You're finding some good inventory both ways, it sounds like. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been very blessed. And, uh, you know, I have a lot of uh, great people around me and great resources. The Amazon uh, a course and um, the uh, Facebook group is fantastic. Fantastic. Somebody always replies. You know, somebody who's, uh, who's been through my situation and lately I've actually been contributing, which uh, has been kind of cool because I'm like, oh, I know, <laughs> I know great. what you're going through. Right. So it's been, uh, it's been great uh, yeah. being part of that community. Yeah. We love to see that growth cycle where you kind of come in and you're just kind of soaking it up. And then suddenly you, you have an affinity and a, a connection with the group and you see a question and you're like, I can answer that question. And you do. And that's kind of the leadership trail around here. Uh, is uh, that's the path you're on, man. You're on a leadership journey now, whether you realize it or not, that's where you're headed and who knows where it goes, but uh, that's the trajectory. I love it. So how you been doing recently, man? We're up to pretty recent, yeah. a couple months ago. So, you know, what's it look like the past few months? So in uh, May, uh, first milestone, I, one day I hit $1,000 sale. That was amazing. It was fantastic i was like wow i sold one thousand dollars in amazon in one day that was fantastic and the but the the real magic happened in june um in june i started to go back oh i'm sorry i was listening to your podcast and you had uh, brian and robin as guests mm -hmm. you know they do the coach's corner and they were talking about uh, the advanced keepa Right, and I had taken the the keep the previous keep, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, how much more can you get out of keepa? And and there's then I took the course, and I was like, wow, this is incredible. Uh, so I just followed exactly what he was doing, same same words, same products, everything. I did the exact same thing that he did, and I got the same exact results that he did. And I said, this works. Now let me try it with things that I want to source and mm -hmm. see if this works. Mm -hmm. So I tried it with, you know, uh, my category, own categories and, and my own uh, search criteria. And uh, here's where the, the power of the multiple uh, modules come into play. Advanced Keepa allowed me to source excellent products, but I still don't know where to get them. I have this incredible list of ASINs that, you know, I know can be prof very profitable and they're, they're first uh, turn in, but I don't know where to get them. So I combined that and, and Brian does this in, in his training with um, uh, tactical arbitrage. And I, I use that combination to find the sources where I can get these, these products that I was really uh, looking forward to getting. And I went from uh, about $8,500 in May to 15.3 uh, in June. It, it almost doubled my uh, my sales because, like you said, the the ability to send it in and sell it right away. I mean, these things were flying off the shelves um, because I did the right search. Yes, following the the, the Keepa training. If you right. find those right products they're going to one, give you profit and they're going to sell quickly. Yeah. Good job. Well, let me just fill a couple of people in who may be uh, newer around here. If you don't know what we're talking about with Keepa, please go listen to podcast episode 369. It's one of the core tools that we use around here and podcast episode 369. It's an older episode, but I could record it today and it would be 100% spot on exactly descriptive of what that tool is, why we love it, how it's so unique and different in the industry. And it does give you an unfair advantage. But it's so robust and it does so many things as Abel just described. So yeah, good job. You're digging into it. You're using some of that advanced Keepa training, which is a module inside the proven Amazon course put together by a couple of great coaching leaders on our team, Robin Joy and 
Brian Olson. Yeah, they did a tremendous job with that. And there's about 10 different ways that they show you how to use it. And there's another 15, 20 ways that we're probably going to discover and unpack over time strategies for using that tool. But it scrapes Amazon data in a way that no other tool does. So it gives you a really big advantage once you know how to use it. Yeah, and you can find those those fast moving, we call them underserved listings on Amazon that you can go sell against. And then it's just a matter of like you described, Abel, where can I source this product? You know, Google is your friend and there's other tools you can use as well to kind of track down the good sources for these hot selling, fast moving, high price, nice profit margin products. Uh, so yeah, you, you're building a beautiful business, man. Well done. A thousand dollar day is no joke. Some people it takes them years to get to that point. So that's a, that is a day of celebration for sure. And I assume your margins are hanging in there doing pretty well as you're doing this. Yeah, the, the margins have been around 12, 13. Um, but again, I, I'm not too focused on the margins mm -hmm. because I'm looking that the money is coming in and I'm able to replenish you know, my, uh, my cash. The cash flow is, is very important. Yes. So if I'm sourcing a product that um, I don't recommend this from the very beginning, but uh, I, I went out and I, I see that this worked, now I, I'm okay purchasing a $100 product. And I know that uh, it's going to sell at, you know, 160 or 170. And the margin on that product may be uh, lower because of the Amazon fees and the shipping maybe weighs a little more. Mm -hmm. But I'm still making $30 or $40, mm -hmm. uh, but the margin is lower. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that, right? Because yeah, exactly. it's money, money in my pocket. Yeah, lower um, margin, but it's, it's real profits. Yep. You, it's real money you can use to pay the bills. <laughs> yep. That's awesome, dude. Well, you're doing great, man. So how's the how's the most recent month been? Last, uh, you know, we're up to, you know, here we are, middle of July, 2023, as we're recording yeah. this. And and that's kind of the next month on our radar here as you're going through this. So what's going on with you, your biz? Well, um, I was very lucky to have the opportunity to attend the uh Proving conference, which uh, you led just uh, about a week ago, is it was fantastic. Uh, I continued, you know, my sales were okay up until then. I think I was doing. I'm seeing here, I was probably at uh, three thousand uh, dollars in a period of about ten days, and. Then uh, after the, I, I didn't do anything during the, the proving conference. I just focused on the conference. Uh, after that was done at night, I just slept because it was just so much, so yeah. much content. And you're yeah. talking to so many people and learning yeah. so much. I mean, there were tips and tips and tips. And uh, I, my phone was running a battery. The first time ever that my phone has run on a battery because I've been using it so much to take notes. Um, ne never happened before in my life. So <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Fantastic. One of the things that everyone kept talking about was uh, you need a repricer because I've been sourcing and sourcing and sourcing and sourcing. My Google Sheets, I think it's uh, a little over 500 lines so okay. far, and not all of them are active and some of them uh, I've deleted. Sure. And um, so a total of eight, I had about a little under 400 ASINs. And they said, if you have that many ASINs, you need a repricer. Yeah. Uh -huh. At about a hundred ASINs or so, a hundred listings is when we start saying, ah, start thinking about it. If you don't have one, by the time you're hitting four or 500 different listings, yeah, it's costing you some time, effort, and energy to try to stay yeah. on top of that manually, the repricing. Yeah. Now I um, knew that because I'm keeping track of the inventory in my Excel sheet, that a lot of things are starting to get old, right? I mean, I just started, but things that I posted in April, uh, some you know, in March are not moving. So I'm like, uh, you know, do I, do I just wait? Because Amazon warehouse uh, prices are very, very cheap. You know, I don't mind paying a couple of cents if, you know, for another month, if it's going to make me, you know, $10 or $12, I, I can absorb that. But I still want to see the, the, the turn on those uh, products. Mm -hmm. So I got home after the proving um, conference and slept for 12 hours. The next morning I said, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to try this, uh, repricer. And I, that's what I did. I 
the first thing I did, went in, signed up for their uh, repricer. Uh, the um, Be Cool guys had a special. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, I'll take that special, if, especially if I can try it for free. Uh, so they have a trial. I believe you have a link in yeah, uh, I'll your stick it in the show notes. Yeah. yeah. And um, I don't have anything to lose. Now, please don't do what I did because it's, uh, I don't recommend you, you, you do this, but I was in a rush because we were going to church this Sunday morning. And I said, I really don't have time to go through all this and set all these rules. I'm just going to set one rule for everything. And I picked the rule that said, um, uh, well, I actually, I, I kept the, the default rule that they suggest. And I just went to church. And after church, I started looking at my sales and it was skyrocketing. I'm like, what's happening, right? Uh, what's going on? And I started seeing that a lot of my products were moving. And um, I was like, this is fantastic, right? And then the next day on Monday, which is the first day of Prime Day, I saw that uh, things were just selling, but I was losing on some of them. When you get a reprice it, you have to be very careful and make sure that you use the, the rules correctly. And I didn't do that. So it started moving my inventory quite a bit. And I was, I'm still making you know, significant uh, margin. But there were some things that I had purchased at a very low price. And those ROIs are, are pretty big. Uh, and because I entered the, the low price, the repricer says, well, you told me to put 50% over your price. So that's what it did. Mm -hmm. And I left some money on the table. I'm still making money, but instead of making, you know, the additional 50%, the repricer doesn't know that uh, the product, you know, was uh, purchased on a sale and the, the yeah. cost was lower. It yeah. doesn't know what you paid. Yeah. The repricer right. doesn't know what you paid unless you tell it. Right. So right. I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Those are some of the the little lessons you learn as you're setting up a repricer and, and be cool is such a robust tool. And there's a handful of other great repricers that serve our community as well. Uh, it, it, it's worth digging in and, and being cautious. You want to keep it simple, but when you're first setting yes. it up, you can definitely just push a couple of buttons, turn it loose and have this great sales day. And you're like, Oh, wait a second, 30% of that I broke even. And it's great to see yes. the other sales and the profits coming in uh, because it, it bumps your prices up and down and helps you, Move your inventory as fast as possible while keeping it priced as aggressively high as possible. That's the whole point of a repricer. And uh, it's nice to have a tool that just does it automatically. But you do need to be careful with your settings for sure. Uh, or you can, you know, even I've, I've even seen some people, you know, set it, say, hey, I want to be the lowest price. And then this battle starts between another repricer who has the same thing. And pretty soon they're both selling this $20 item for $3. <laughs> it's like, wait, yeah. wait, stop, pump the brakes. Yeah. So you'd have to be proceed with caution on these, but yeah, it can change your life in a beautiful way. And, uh, and yet, so you had a pretty good sales day. You had, what'd you say you did? What, uh, that I did three, $3,000 three well, on Sunday. I, I did on Sunday. I did, um, uh, let's see, $1,200. That was the first day, you know, just let it loose on, mm, let's see, on Monday, I did a little under $2,000 and on Tuesday, I did $3,000. Prime day, 3,000. Yeah. And that's here we are just talking about, you know, yesterday at this point. <laughs> and so we're yeah. caught up to speed, but congratulations. It's great to be interviewing you the day after this great sales day, $3,000. That's that's pretty, or no, it was a couple of days ago. I apologize. But yeah, still tremendous, man. It's really good I, job. To, again, to have a $1,000 day is amazing. To have, I'm, I'm tracking to have another $1,000 day today. To have Beautiful. four $1,000 days or more in a row. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I have to say, I have to give a lot of, uh, I'm very grateful for the training that you have put together because if I didn't source correctly in Keepa, uh, if I wasn't using OA um, Simplified and Keepa together, I wouldn't have had the inventory to allow me to have these sales, right? So it's it's it, it's not this is not just a, a one month type of thing. This was building up the skills in order to have the right inventory that allowed me to have a three thousand dollar day. So for those folks that are starting. It's a stepping uh, 
uh, tool. It's a stepping tool for you to grow slowly, slowly, but surely in the right direction. Uh, you yeah. can't expect, you know, things to go really quickly. There are a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, so we, yeah. we intentionally lay it out so that you, you scale slowly, taking small risks and your, your risk tolerance and your level of excellence and uh, understanding of the system and your profits kind of slowly climb. We believe in the slow build tortoise in the hair, right? Like slow yeah, and steady absolutely. wins the race. That's one of our sayings around here. So you've put in the time, you put in the work, you've learned a few of the, the hard lessons early on, you've persisted, uh, you've embraced the always be learning philosophy that we have around here yes. and you're reaping the rewards that this is what we do. This is, you are a perfect case study of this is what we do here. Start off with people with very little knowledge, if any knowledge at all of e-commerce and just step them through little baby steps at a time. And you know, a few months in here you are thousand dollar days three thousand dollar day uh congratulations man it, you're building a beautiful system building a beautiful business and i i think you've probably got a vision at this point of like this could be heading somewhere pretty significant right starting to feel get the get that feel to it absolutely absolutely this is something that i you know me and my family would like to pursue very seriously and that is why uh during the uh, proven conference, I decided that I, I needed some coaching in order to move forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I signed up for for the uh, the coaching program, because I'm very serious about this. And I, I really, like you mentioned, I like to be a father, right? I want to come home yeah. and be that uh, father figure to especially, I have two boys, one is 15 and one is 16 months. The 15 year old, needs me a lot right now because there yeah. are a lot of a lot of competition out there for uh, his attention and um yeah let's just say not his everything loyalty is, and his his worldview yeah. and you know the things that he yeah. thinks are important is being shaped greatly right now yeah you, you're in that last window of time where you can you know significantly shape who that young man's going to turn into so i feel you on that man and i i gotta tell you it's such a blessing having done life in a way that i was I was flexibly available for our boys and our daughter. You know, and then my youngest is is now, you know, 16. Everyone out there, our older brothers are all, you know, older than that. And a couple of them married and, but uh, three of them actually. So, you know, we've, yeah. our family has really changed over the past few years, but man, I, I'm just so grateful. There's no amount of money I could have in the bank right now that would be more rewarding to be able to say, I was here, I was available. I was able to spend time with them when they needed me. And I can go into this next season of being a grandpa <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, with great relationships with great kids, man. So I want that for every dad. I don't know what it feels like to be a mom. I have no idea, but I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to be a dad who's available and just how rewarding that is. So uh, yeah, bringing dads home is a big part of our mission on here. I'd love to see you make that happen to whatever degree it possibly can able. And, uh, yeah, I love hearing you set that as a goal, man. For sure. That is uh, one of my main goals. And I see this as the uh, vehicle uh, that will allow me to do that. Um, so thank you very much for putting this together and uh, having these gr incredible uh, group of individuals, in this community, you know, to learn from, support and contribute. It's it's been fantastic and I can't wait uh, for the next uh, chapter, the next phase. Mm, outstanding. Well, you've got a bright future ahead of you, buddy. You've got the right attitude. You've got the, a, a learning attitude. You're open to learn new things. We call it just in time education around here where you're learning what you need right when you need it, right? Uh, you're not going out and spending three weeks just reading. You're applying as you learn. And so you're on, you, you've got it, man. This is, this is the path. This is the way towards where you want to go. Uh, I wouldn't mind hearing, since we're fresh off the conference, you mentioned the Proven Conference. We've got it scheduled for 2024 already at this point in Orlando, May 23rd through 25th. I'll stick a link in the show notes. But I wouldn't mind hearing from you, how did it go? Uh, did, what are some big takeaways? You said you just filled up your phone with tips and great conversations, but anything specific that you came with besides the repricing, uh, anything else that, that stood out to you, just any observations? I love hearing from especially first-time attendees and and seeing what they've picked up on. And for those who don't know, we had about 600 of us 
in Columbus, Ohio last week, July 6th through 8th, 2023. Those videos will be coming soon and we'll have all that for you soon. We had about 40 breakout sessions, but I'd love to hear from you, Abel, just what's your takeaways, man? And maybe someone who's thinking, ah, is this something I should do? What would you say? Yeah. Uh, so first of all, you have to attend the next <laughs> proven conference. If you are serious about this, or even if you just want to, you know, observe and, and listen, attend. Um, the people that are putting this together, they're, they're real. They have uh, real lives, real examples. They're all extremely approachable. There isn't a question that wasn't answered. There isn't a stupid question. The, the group was just so welcoming. Uh, I can't think of, I've attended many, many conferences uh, and, you know, okay. through my career. Um, and I can't think of an, another conference where people were so approachable and, and willing to talk. The, the one thing that I like about the uh, conference is that I was able to uh, meet a lot of the leaders uh, that were talked about in the podcasts, right? You talked about, uh, for example, Be Cool. I was able to meet the guys from Be Cool. I was able to um, talk, see uh, Jim, you know, um, he's in all these videos. You know, I feel like uh, I know him, right? But he doesn't know that. It's just seeing that this person is real and, and is right there. And you don't mind Jimmy just, Smith? Jimmy Smith, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. He's the guy that orchestrated our replens content for us. Yeah, he's got all his content. You see him everywhere, but like there he is in person. He's always taller than you think he's going to be too for most people. <laughs> yeah. Um, I One thing that I always take is like, you know, the fact how I got into this was a personal connection. Mm -hmm. So I felt uh, that Facebook is great, but there's still that distance, right? Mm -hmm. And having that community come together and see people face to face, there's nothing better than seeing people in the eye and uh, seeing their responses. And, you know, we all have good days and bad days. And that's just part of, you know, a business. Yeah. Uh, everything can't be, you know, uh, roses, but talking about, the individual examples and how we got through it really, really allowed me to connect with the community and gave me the confidence that no matter what comes next, I'm going to have individuals that I can count on that can help me through it. That's yeah. the biggest, biggest part that I got out of the conference. Um, in addition to all the free trials. I mean, <laughs> there are a lot of great offers that are given at the conference, uh, you know, because you're there. But the the most valuable one is the level of support that this community provides. And you can see it. Not even uh, for me. I mean, there are other people there, right? And you would see individuals asking a very simple questions. And these experts, you know, just taking their time and, and explaining to an individual, you know, why they should use labels and not barcodes. Uh, uh, you know, those just astonish me. I was like, these individuals are great. The connections were great. Uh, the fact that were, I have somebody that I can go to, I'm not alone. It was a huge deal for me. That's outstanding. Well, thanks for that review, man. That's beautiful. And yeah, the, we're reaping the benefits of the abundance mentality that we've had for so long. And the first several times we met together as a community, this was our 11th time and we've got our 12th now scheduled for 2024. We emphasize repeatedly that we are not competitors. We're selling on the same platform, but it is a massive platform. And there is so much opportunity there that we can very open-handedly share with each other the ideas and the concepts and the strategies and knowing that we're on the front end of the largest paradigm shift in retail history. People moving from offline to online, people yeah. moving from whatever it is they used to do to shopping on Amazon <laughs> and the opportunity is getting nothing but bigger and bigger and better. And that's just the Amazon opportunity. This is a multiple income streams community. There's so many other ways to make money. So several of the sessions, which I haven't even seen yet, but they had nothing to do with Amazon. Just mm -hmm. some really creative, proven, established strategies for launching new income streams using the internet creatively. That's what we do here. So yeah, it's a special community. 
And uh, everyone in leadership has bought into wholeheartedly that concept of the one, they've built a beautiful business. So we, they can, we can learn something from them, but they've got a teacher's heart. They've got an abundance mentality. They don't have a scarcity mindset when it comes to success. We, anybody can have as much success as they want. Come on in. We call it like lighting candles. We're not all diving in after this, trying to get a piece of this cake in the middle of the room and last guy in gets nothing. No, we're lighting candles. You know, show up, we'll light your candle. That's great. Make the room brighter for everyone. That's our mentality. And uh, you you witnessed it firsthand. So I love hearing you describe that. There, there's one example that I like to give from uh, one of the courses. It was the building uh, a warehouse. Yeah, and we had a session on uh, if it's time to build a prep center, talking about? No, so no, it was um, building wholesale. A retail. Ho- wholesale. Wholesale. Okay, the wholesale yeah. sourcing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The wholesale sourcing. And I, for- I forgot his name. He was a fantastic uh, speaker. He was uh, talking Carl? about, yes, Carl. He was uh, talking about very large numbers that he does on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. And that's great. You know, he's been doing this for a while. And one of the individuals there as well, he goes, that's great for you. And you got there, but I'm just starting. I can't have a half a million dollar PO, uh, you know, with a with a vendor. And he, I, I love his response. He goes, "Yes, you can." <laughs> he goes, "Look around you. Look at all the people here. You think that maybe some of them would want to go in and purchase with you, mm-hmm. right?" I mean, it, that just went from "I can't do this" to "We." can do this yeah right yeah it was it was such an eye opener that that one sentence that he did and everyone was like we're all partners here <laughs> yeah it was fantastic it's it yeah well, you are not among competitors you're among fellow business building warriors and i love indoctrinating you know the new newbies we call you right into this community and just starting to it's one of those experiences where the deeper you go, the more exciting it gets and the more opportunity you see. And and the stage is wide open. Step up, lead, teach, show us what you got. You know, you're going to have to prove that you're worthy of it first. You can't just say, Hey, I got a great idea. Everybody listen to me. No, it's, you need to prove it. Show us the proof, show it to a few other people. We're going to vet you and make sure that it's legit. The word proven, that's what we call proven conference. It means something here. Uh, it takes a while to prove these ideas, but once you've proven that you know what you're talking about, yeah, step up, man. And the creative partnerships and opportunities that have sprung from this community blow my mind. The masterminds that have formed and, you know, people end up, we've had, we've had weddings and we've had, you know, massive businesses launched and people partner up with their coach or whatever. And like, you know, that relationship you're going to be building with your coach that could blossom into something neither one of you anticipated. And now you guys are off doing some fun adventure, going in together on some investment project, right? Uh, that's what this community is all about. Uh, it's a very decentralized, very flat structure. People sometimes ask me, Abel, about the organizational structure. Like, you know, what's your org chart look like? How many employees do you have? And I'm like, they'll just imagine a whole bunch of people standing next to each other. That's our org chart. <laughs> it's like, we're a bunch of business building warriors working on our own businesses. And it just so happens we spend some of our time contributing to the welfare of the community to whatever degree it, uh, we have the time and energy and we pour into that and we're rewarded well for it. In some cases, it's a full-time job for some of us. It's it's very much a part-time thing, um, but that's what this community is. And uh, it has been doing it for 20 years at this point, man. And so it's it's always great to see the, the, the new person coming into our community kind of reflect on what they're observing and witnessing. Um, and it's kind of kind of become normal for us because uh, we've been in it for so long. But to, to hear you describe it is uh, it's it's really cool to hear just you know a newbie's perspective on, on what you experience. So, yeah, great. So you guys going to come and join us in Orlando? Then is that the plan? Absolutely, absolutely. Fantastic. I, I purchased those tickets immediately when the announcement was made. So yeah, I couldn't believe how many people locked in. You know, as we're recording this, we made a special offer for those who were at the event and said, "Hey, if you want to come next year." let us know 200 people bam (laughs) locked in and it's you know it's it's may we haven't even announced who's speaking or nothing it's just hey we're going to be at this city on this date in this hotel that's all we know right now Uh, and everybody's just locking it in so 
Uh, that's beautiful. We'll have the theprovenconference.com as the website. We'll have more announcements soon on that website about the May 2024 event. But uh, I love it. Well, what else is on your mind today, buddy? As we start to wrap this one up, any other tips or pointers or any questions from me? I'd like, love to uh, help shape your business out a bit. If there's anything you're running into that we could brainstorm on, it's, uh, it's up to you, man. Well, I am looking forward to starting the coaching program. So, you know, maybe, you know, looking into the coaches based on where I am. I know that I'm in a place where I'm trying to scale and I mean, $15,000 in one month is quite a bit. And I'm, I'm at uh, a little over 10,000 so far for this month. So I'm probably going to pass last month. Yeah. Um, and you're on track to have a 20,000 plus dollar month. Yep. Yeah. I know I need help. So, yeah. you know, the, the coaching is definitely something that I'm looking forward to and um, scaling the, the business. I do have plenty of ASINs that I can go back and, and look into, but the part that I'm most excited about is getting my business in order. Uh, there's a lot of little things behind the scenes to mm -hmm. make sure that the business is running properly yeah. from accounting to tax preparation to you know scheduling of uh, replans and, and, and prices. This is just a lot of things that returns, uh, invoices. There's so many things that go behind the scenes that uh, I am looking forward to really organizing and keeping a discipline. Right yeah. now, I'm not very disciplined. Sure. I, I do things as uh, are needed and I tend to kind of not finish them because I'm going into something else. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for that discipline and that um, a playbook, right? Yeah. That you guys have created over the years. A uh, coach is definitely follow. going to help you with that. And, and are you a member of our private Facebook group for replin sellers by any chance? I don't believe so. Yeah. You want to jump into that. Your coach can help you or you can contact support. If you're a proven Amazon course student who's doing the replins model, there is a private Facebook group just for those folks. And it kind of steps you out of the noise of the 73,000 member group where we talk about all kinds of business models. And we talk plenty about replins there as well, but we talk about everything else too. But yeah. you step into that other Facebook group that's 100% replin sellers. There's a few thousand sellers in there. There's some standard operating procedures. Some of the stuff that you're talking about, I would say go over that with your coach, get into that group, see some of the resources there uh, that can really start to dial in. Uh, because any question you have about replins, there's a thousand people who have already been through the exact same thing. And we've got a process, a procedure, standing operate, an SOP, we call it standard operating procedure. Like, yep. yeah, here's what you want to be doing for your accountant. Here's what you give them when it comes time for taxes. Here's the reports you run. Like, you don't have to think through that. It's all been done thousands of times by other people. And we've documented all of that. So you'll find some of that in the Proven Amazon course, but also in that private Facebook group as well, where you can ask questions. And, you know, it's just a bunch of people doing the replens model at scale. So yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think you fully value what you just said for newbies, right? You have this, this, standard operating procedures that you guys have been doing for years yeah and you can leverage all of that knowledge it's for just a few dollars it's the, amazing this, the business model for us is you know sometimes i'm asked and people are skeptical and rightfully so possibly like you know how do you guys charge just a few dollars and you provide all of this value well it, it opens up opportunities for much bigger deals and you you know we are the trusted vetted landing place. If people really do their homework, they land here. And so we've got a lot of really good people. Uh, we've got the audience. We've got the attention of the audience. So if we're going to host an event, sponsors know like, yeah, that's the event to be at. I was on the phone with Jeff Schick earlier today and he, he does uh, all the account, the uh, Amazon policy and legal. He's a lawyer. It's like you guys have the best event. It's a, it's the one, you know, he, he said that he posted it in our Facebook group yesterday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, you guys have the best event. There's dozens of Amazon seller events. But if we can have the reputation of, we've got the audience, we've got the crowd, we're serving them well, it's low price, low pressure, a lot of abundance mentality, people helping people. We've got, we've got the audience, that's the asset, right? So we ask a sponsor, hey, will you sponsor this? Like without hesitation, we don't have to convince them of anything. It's like, yeah, how can we help this year? We're coming for sure. Um, so that's, you know, that leads to, that's how we monetize is we've got the tension of the community, we're serving them well that attracts a lot of a positive attention. I signed into uh, that 
you know, I bought in a long time ago into, uh, you've heard it said different places, but if you help enough people get what they want, you'll always have everything you want. So we're just like, we go all in on helping people get whatever it is they need. They're willing to pay us great. If not, that's fine. We're going to help them anyway. And we're going to help as many people as we can, knowing that that always comes back. It's that abundance mindset again. Yeah. We're just built on it. But I, I can't say enough. It's not what the real world is about anymore. And it's, it's a shame, you know, uh, yeah. you know, I come from a very cutthroat environments in the corporate world and mm-hmm. it's hard to, unfortunately, it's hard to believe that people like that are thriving and you tend to not believe it because of all the other folks that are, yeah. are doing something that is just for them. So skepticism uh, those is are, our biggest barrier that we have to overcome and rightfully yeah. so. I understand. I tell people, be very skeptical. I don't know if you've heard me talk about this before, Abel. One of the things I encourage people to do is if you're looking at business opportunities on the internet and you're wanting to start a business, do this to us, do this to anybody you're listening to. You talked about those Facebook ads earlier on and these people say, is this a scam? I don't know. Just ask them one simple question. I call it my gauntlet question. Like the whole industry should have to face this question. Anybody who's teaching business is, where are the people gathered online that I could go visit right now without spending any money and hang out with them and watch them doing what it is that you're teaching. I want to see their success stories. I want to see their struggles. I want to see transparency. I want to see people winning, fighting through it, helping each other. Where is that community? 98% of the time, the people selling the opportunity are going to say, uh, yeah, we don't do that. You got to pay us before we'll do anything like that. And then even if you do pay them, you get in there and it's crickets, you know, there's no one's done this thing. You're like, I just made a big mistake, man. There's nobody here. But if they do have that community, which is rare, but that's what we have. Our, our free Facebook group is that. It's, we've got 1,800, approximately 1,800 success story posts in this Facebook group from the past few years. People just transparently sharing. And we've got a lot of people saying, oh man, I just made a big mistake. Somebody help me. I don't know what I'm doing. And we got those too. It's transparency, right? Yeah, absolutely. One of the guys on the podcast here a while back said he fell out of the mistake tree and hit every branch on his way down. <laughs> He's done a, but we're there. We help you. The, we make the landing as soft as possible. You dust yourself off and you plow forward. And uh, but that's what's different about this community is we say, hey, we're, we're going to be we're going to operate with transparency and we're going to highlight the stuff that works uh, and not see each other as competitors. And and if you're in a in if you're in any business model that doesn't meet that criteria of having a community that's treating each other that way you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong business model. You're in the wrong community. Uh, I'd invite you to come on over and, and try us out for a few months until we've earned your trust, right? Then pay us $39 a month if, if you like what you see and we'll give you the, everything we got. Uh, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for sharing that, Abel. I appreciate the contrast between like the cutthroat corporate, which I've been away from for 20 years. That's foreign to me. I would be a fish out of water in that environment. I'd be like, What's going on here, guys? You know, why we're all on the same team, right? Like, why? What's all this new drama? Uh, that's foreign territory to me now. Yeah. Now, I I want to thank you uh, for you know starting this out and gathering these incredible amount uh, of uh, people. This I don't know how you do it, but the individuals that are part of this community are just fantastic. And um, the the biggest thing is that uh, it gives me hope. Mm. You know. It gives me a, a, a light to, to follow and, you know, a, a way for me to really come back and, and be present with my family. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, uh, Rabbi uh, Lappin talks about, you know, the most important thing is uh, making sure that you're, you're creating, uh, you know, it, you're bringing up correctly, you know, you, your, your children. Yes. And if we can do that, we're going to be able to change the world uh, for the better. I believe that 100%. Uh, yeah. I see it every day. If we had parents being active in their households, this entire world would be very, very different. And oh, absolutely. Our, our prisons are full of young men who didn't have a present father. Yeah. Yeah. The statistics so, are undeniable of you know, the, the vital role that parents play. And especially, you know, dads for young men, like our culture is, is drifting into some dangerous territory rapidly, in my opinion. So yeah, when we say bringing dads home, (laughs) I'm fully aware of the cultural war that we are in. This is a, for me, it's very much a spiritual war and we consider this our ministry, Mm -hmm. right? 
This is a self-funded ministry. That's all profits are to us. It allows us to continue serving with excellence without needing any donations to do it. That's what our profits are. We're a self-funded ministry. That's what our business is. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for this. Um, you know, if, um, if there's anything that uh, you need uh, from me, from hands, feet, mind, anything at all, you know, I'm more than willing to provide anything that I'm able to, uh, to you or that. to this community. Thank you, Abel. And uh, yeah, Abel says he is able to, ready and able. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, you know, I say the same thing. I've had, I've had people come up over the years and like, hey, you know, how can we serve? How can we, like, one of the things you can do is like, even when you're not listening to the podcast, to set it on play and let it go, man, because those those listens add up and that helps us get our marketing out. Like that's a very tangible thing. You actually do leave us a review, that sort of thing. But, you know, in all seriousness, uh, I say, you know, come back and, and serve. It, sometimes people say give back. You never took anything. You don't owe us anything. You don't have to give anything back. You didn't take anything. But that re reciprocity, I love that concept. Like, man, I've received a lot here. I just want to, mm -hmm. I want to give into this community and keep that reciprocity going. That's going to be very rewarding for you. You're actually going to rise in leadership as you jump into the Facebook group and you're helpful and answer questions and answer the newbies questions. Like, what is FBA? I've never heard of that before. It's like, well, for the 8,000th time I could do it, or there's a whole bunch of us that could do it. Let's tackle this as a team and make those new folks feel welcome and get them on this journey and introduce them to e-commerce and internet marketing. And uh, that's what I say is keep serving well, those who are behind you, you know, don't, don't ever abandon them and think, oh, I just want to hang out with people who are doing this at a high level. No, the people who are a few steps behind you, that, that's a biblical model, you know, where, who are you being mentored by? And who are you mentoring? A life well lived. You can always put names in those blanks. Who's mentoring me right now? Absolutely. Who am I mentoring? Besides my primary responsibility, my family, I'm talking to other people outside of my family. Who's mentoring me? Who am I mentoring? Who's behind me? Um, and you've, you want to have a good list of names. And this community absolutely offers you the opportunity, Able. And, and that would be my challenge to you and to anyone else who's listening with the same kind of mindset of like, how can I contribute around here? That's what I'd say. Man, time well spent. And I appreciate you squeezing this in. We we did this on very short notice and you carved out a good chunk of time for us today. I really appreciate that. I appreciate the opportunity. It's been fantastic. And I can't wait you know, to continue to be in this community and grow with uh, all of you and, and help as many people as I can along the way. Fantastic. We'll say hey to Tara for me as well and see you guys uh, at church on some Sunday. It's a, We don't cross paths. And it's a big enough church that sometimes you can go without seeing people. But it's great to see you again, my friend. Well, let me talk to the listeners for just a moment and uh, wrap this one up. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Abel and I had a great chat. I hope you benefited. He gave us some really good, solid golden nuggets and things that he's learned recently. And, and it's just an impressive trajectory that he's on. So hopefully you benefited in some some good creative ways today. Thanks for giving us some of your time. Uh, one little thing I want to announce before we wrap this up, we've been telling you about this for the past several weeks. I actually have updated the book that started this community, the Silent Sales Machine book. You can go to silentsalesmachine.com. It's selling there for $19 if for some reason the promotion is ended by the time you hear this. But right now, if you text the word free to this phone number, it's 507 800 0090. I'll stick that in the show notes as well. You can get the latest updated version of the book that launched this whole community 20 years ago. It was just me. And I wrote a little PDF document to help some of my friends get started in e-commerce and internet marketing. And that book just took off. It's sold over a million copies over the years. We keep updating it. And that could be your guide into this land of multiple streams of income using the internet creatively, like we heard about with Abel today. So give that a, a check and let us know what you think. And it's completely free. You get all of it and while the promo is running. So take advantage of that. But on behalf of the great team that puts these episodes together and our tremendous guest today, Abel, thanks again for your time, my friend. Thank you. It's a pleasure hanging out with you and everyone else who made this possible today, all of our great sponsors. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll have another great episode for you again, Business Building Warrior. God bless you until then. Hey, thanks for hanging out today. Before I let you go, one short reminder we are so grateful to our new sponsor to this program, Seller Board. If you haven't checked them out yet, get over to silentgym.com slash numbers. This is the software that tells you if you're profitable or not. It helps you track all of your expenses, your KPIs, sales, refunds, advertising costs, all of it. Profit, loss, 
This is tremendous software that fills a gap in the marketplace. Many successful sellers in our community are using this tool to help them know which of their products are profitable and which ones aren't. You'll love Sellerboard for just $15 a month starting. You can really dial in and know how your business is doing. Silentgym.com slash numbers. Talk to you next time.